What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Jackson Files. Today is uh, going to be an update on the Rose Bly video that I made on the 20th um, that showed a woman who I believed could possibly be Rose Bly. Um, I did some follow up um, research and I looked up Rose Bly's court records in Wisconsin, and anybody can do that. It is free of charge. And um, this is some stuff that I had noticed. So her two children were born before the marriage of the two parties between her and uh, Christopher Larson, which I thought was very interesting. They filed a paternity suit on June 4th of 2009, and then they dismissed the paternity filing on August 6th, 2009, citing that the couple reconciled and are living with each other again. Then 8-21-2009 is when Rose Bly disappeared, so only 15 days after they withdrew the paternity filing. And then another three weeks from then, Christopher Larson files for divorce. A very quick timeline for all these events, in my opinion. Uh, very, uh, very interesting. Um, the fact that the two children were born before they got married, and then they did a paternity filing, so I wonder if the children are even... Christopher's, but it made me really think like who uh who files for divorce no matter what the reason is only three weeks from when your wife disappears I mean to me and I know that it's happened before especially like in the Daybell case where he remarried I think within three weeks or something crazy like that but most normal people in my opinion would not file for divorce three weeks of their wife's disappearance now that made me think that if if Christopher Larson was guilty of you know, doing any harm or murder or whatever the case may be, I don't think he would have done that. Now, if he knew that his wife had left him for good and she wasn't coming back, he might have done that, you know? It's just a very, very strange scenario. Somebody messaged me on Facebook after that video and said, that is not Rose. Either you didn't do any research yourself and simply took another idiotic theory and ran with it, or you know it isn't and shared it anyways. I know you really can't see it, but this is a photo of Betty Hare, Andy Hare's sister, grandma. And the top comment on that is a woman named Julie Letts, who is the woman in question from the first video that I made. She says, uh, they are beautiful just like you, mother. Love you. Happy Mother's Day. So that was her proof that Julie's mother was Betty Hare. That that is Julie Letts, the daughter of Candy's sister, Betty. That very well could be. You know, I'm not trying to say that it's not, because I have no idea. I don't know this family. It very well could be. But I am going to show you some stuff that I had found that I believe is to the contrary of that. Number one, on Betty Harris' Facebook, looks like she does a decent job of putting a, you know, a good amount of her family on her family and relationships part. Got married to Jerry in 1968. Daughter Lynn, and then a niece, a niece, a grandson, a granddaughter, a granddaughter. None of them have the last name of Letts. And then when you look at Lynn Hare, who is apparently Julie Letts's sister in family and relationships, you know, she lists Betty as her mother, and then an aunt, Andy, and has a niece, cousin, 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 nephew, no mention of a sister, Julie Letts, which this is just Facebook stuff, so it could mean absolutely nothing. Maybe they just didn't, you know, connect it on Facebook. Fine. Lynn also is not friends with Julie Letts, which thought was interesting that she's not friends with her sister on Facebook you know now the other thing is is I don't know about you and I know it's not like it's not like every cousin doesn't look like each other but I have a lot of cousins and I don't look like any of them that's not to say that you can't by any means but the woman the two pictures on the left is Lynn Hare two pictures on the right are Julie Letts they look nothing alike and apparently they're sisters in my opinion, Lynn Hare looks nothing like Rose Bly, her cousin. But yet somehow her sister, Julie Letts, looks very similar to Rose Bly, her cousin. Seems a little uh, a little weird to me, you know? And if these are sisters, they look nothing alike, in my opinion. And keep in mind, it does say that you know, Betty Hare married Jerry in 1968. So two children would have to be sisters if they were going to be both their children. You know, despite the infidelities that we don't know about. This shows Betty Hare on the left. 
and Candy Hair on the right. They are sisters, from what we're told. And they do look similar. And granted, I know that they're older women. But they do look similar to me as sisters than Lynn and Julie Letts. Now, the other thing is that there's no record of Julie Letts when I look up her name. Can't find any information on this woman. The only thing it shows me, I don't, and I don't find a Julie Hare or Julie Bly. Like I don't find any record of Julie's existence. And when you look up Julie Letts, it does come up with five results, but they're all like in their late fifties, and they don't live anywhere near where she lives. Just really makes you wonder. I just wanted to share all this with you, and you know, let you guys know that I am researching this stuff i'm not just throwing shit up for no reason you know i've i've tried a little bit to figure out if i can find the birth records i've been having a little bit of difficulty with that so if anybody knows anything about that or how to find a birth record of somebody definitely let me know or feel free to assist because obviously if we can find a birth record that betty Hare gave birth to, to julie letts then all of this is over fair enough but if there is no birth record that betty Hare gave birth to Julie Letts, then we got a problem, you know, or we got a missing person that's found, you know? I don't know, it's very interesting stuff. Again, this is uh, from the last video. I just think it's very strange that these girls look nothing alike, yet they're apparently sisters, and one looks almost identical to her cousin. One looks nothing like her. But, you know, ho hopefully time will tell either way. Um, again, I'm no expert. I'm just somebody doing this on my own. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Just I'm finding things that are very, uh, that seem very relevant uh, to what's going on right now. And maybe they're just coincidental or whatever. Uh, but I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, stay safe. I hope they find Summer and Rose soon, or at least find out what happened to them. And uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Look up at the sky